Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Welcome to another episode of FTB Genesis. And if you guys remember, last episode, we went to the nether and there was a tree over there. I am actually burning everything down because I thought this place does require a bit of remodeling. But just a bit, nothing too fancy. So by trading with piglins, we did manage to get two ancient debris, which is amazing. Also, they don't really give you any obsidian, but they give you the essence. Which, to be honest with you, that's actually much more worth it. Well, not really, it's the same ratio, I guess. Anyways, what have I been up to? Good question. I have flattened out this area because it's easier to manage crops when everything is flat rather than, you know, just going up and down like this. Another thing that I have discovered is that you might notice that this cube is actually bigger than the amount of dirt that we have inside, by 5 blocks in each direction, so that was great. But moving on, you might notice that we are no longer consuming water, instead we have melon juice. You know, you already have melons, you have glass bottles, you have sugar, so you just make melon juice, which is purified. And I'm also trying to increase the stats on the melons. What the hell is that? Oh, red mushrooms. I don't need that. Not right now. But we also have sweet berries, and we also have hemp, which I'm increasing its stats. We want string. And for a better source of food, we're also trying to have some pumpkins. I only had one pumpkin seed and in order to get extra, this is what I did. So we have one crop stick, then you surround it with double crop sticks like so, and if you plant a seed in the middle, it's going to duplicate. That was according to the quest book. Anywho, over here, I'm also having a bit of a problem. You might notice the nether wart. So one of the things that we want is redstone and, well, there is a red wheat. Essentially, the way of getting that other than botania, which is not really gonna happen at this very moment, is through nether wart. You can mutate nether wart, but there are different conditions. First off, it has to be in an enclosed space. Secondly, light level should not be higher than 7. But you do need to have light, hence you need to have at least redstone torches. But I do have a torch which is a few blocks away, and exactly on this double crop sticks, light level is 7. Oh, it's 6. It's weird, if you use redstone, it's not 7. Yeah, it's still 6, but something grew. Cocoa. <laughs> I don't want cocoa. Anyways, the gist of it is, we want redstone. Something grew. Blue wheat. We need that. That's another quest. Gives you lapis. But here's the thing, I don't think it's going to grow because it needs to be waterlogged. You're not gonna grow. Ever. Maybe you are? Huh. I'm not really sure how the quest book is supposed to work, but I got glow shroom. From Stickreed. It tells you that it can only be bred from netherwort. And it does have a very low chance. <laughs> it's super weird, but it does need to have a glowstone block on top and I believe we should have some glowstone. Yes, we have the essence. I got it from piglins. It's gonna be a bit irritating, but we shall have a block of glowstone on top. And I don't know, we just hope for it to grow. Also, the blue wheat seems to be growing without being waterlogged, which is weird. I didn't touch anything in the configs, there seems to be something wrong. But it's okay, I'm not gonna complain. The blue wheat is fully grown. Can I get the seed? Huh, okay, I was not expecting that. Anyways, we did also manage to get some hemp. We can convert it to the other hemp, and that should give us string. And why is string important? I will let you know in a moment. Inventory management, it's a bit painful. But essentially, if we make a chest, let's make a normal chest. We should be able to make a backpack. With some iron, we should be able to upgrade it into the iron backpack. And I don't think we have enough gold. Maybe we do. Oh yeah, we do. Lovely. So there you go. Gold backpack. Oh, and by the way, can we get some upgrades? Maybe not. Yeah, they're expensive. We wait. For the moment, my most important priority is just redstone, and that's it. So waiting for crops to grow is going to take a bit of time. And by the way, we got Terrawart. That's also another quest. I'm waiting for it to grow. But waiting for crops to grow is a bit boring, so let's do something. We need to do some exploration, and for that, we're going to need some scaffolding. Now that we have string, let us get an extra axe, maybe an extra pickaxe. Oh, and by the way, this is very important for me, but I think I got a purple tulip. It's not growing. Grow faster. I want purple dye. <laughs> okay, maybe I wait for the purple tulip. Well, this one grew, but we had a cornflower which also grew. The gist of it is, I needed some purple dye for my stupid bed. We want to go outside and do some exploration, and a purple bed is very necessary. Actually, before we go outside, there is one more thing that we need to do. Apparently, in one of these crates, which, yeah, there's too many of them, we should be able to find some essence for botania. To be able to get mystical flowers, that's it. In which one? I have no idea, we have to break them all. And I'm not gonna lie to you, there is a very high chance we didn't get it. <laughs> it should be on the top floor. Oh, 
Cracked Guardian Gym. Uh huh. Yeah, it's definitely on the top floor. They just want us to break everything. <laughs> well, we got some Ender Essence. Yep. Nothing down here, but we got rice. I think we got something. Yeah. I broke almost every single barrel. We have two stacks and 16, and there's eight of them left. And yeah, it's over here. Well, at least we got it. I'm not gonna complain. That is going to be used later on, don't you worry. But now that we have it, let us do a bit of exploration. So first off, we're going to check out the lost cities. Exploration always pays off because I think that is deep slate. Yeah, it is. Someone's drinking something. Okay, I don't really care. I just want some deep slate. Oops, there's a hole. <laughs> we might as well take some of the bookshelves. There's an anvil and a creeper. We take the anvil. Look at all those loot. So another thing that I'm looking for here is some sort of a train network. Okay, exactly like this one. We want the powered rails. Until we get some redstone, this is going to be our source of redstone. There's actually plenty of them. Also, if I'm not wrong, this is going to lead to another... Okay, <laughs> it doesn't lead to another lost city. I was going to say maybe we're going to get more loot. Oh, it goes in both directions. Whoops, who are you? We should close the doors. And yeah, this is the train network. If we follow this line, we should reach another lost city. And fear not, I have plenty of food and drinks. So we're not gonna go that way. I can see a skeleton. <laughs> There's a zombie here too. <laughs> Zombies are fine. Is there a spawner? Whoop. Well, they do that. Didn't know they do that. Also, we should be very careful for our hazmat suit not to break. Because then I think I'm just going to suffocate to death. I did manage to get a few powered rails and normal rails. So that was a good achievement. And I will show you what we can do with this. Secondly, our terwort seems to be grown. And we got two seeds. Okay, I guess we are just waiting for the redstone thing. That's not the one. Give me redstone. Anyways, here's what we're going to do with the rails for the moment. So we're going to order an Amadron tablet. Come on, hurry up. Yes, Amadron tablet. And it is fully charged. So we right click on the barrel. That will specify that our payment is going to be in the barrel and all the goods are going to be transported to the barrel. The rails go in, like so. And we can convert the powered rails into redstone. How many can we order? 13 pieces, that's not bad. We also got a decent supply of normal rails. That's going to give us iron. Wait a minute. I get 52 iron? How many did I get? <laughs> okay, Mr. Drone, now would be a good time. Oh, you're there already. Yes, we got redstone and we got iron. That is perfect because we want to start getting some machinery. So in the electromagnetic theory, I think these are the machines that we have to craft first and all of them are going to need some sort of a circuit. Hence, we needed some redstone. We were awarded a bit of redstone, but that was not going to be enough. Hence, we went with the power grills. What the hell are you? Sweet berry. Dude, redstone, please. Nether wart? Nether wart. You're garbage. The first machine that we're going to make is going to be a wire mill and it turned out to be a very expensive machine. Wait a minute, everything that I'm doing is a quest. Interesting. Anyways, if we manage to get one circuit, here is our stupid wire mill. And now that I have placed it down, we can break you, right? Yes, yes, good, good, good. So the voltage between the generator and the wire mill seems to be the same. We should not have any problems. But the main thing that I'm interested in is the mineral grinder. So making wires is a bit expensive. Can we have the questingy over here and give you some copper? Will you make me wires? What do you do? Well, it's obvious what it does. It just didn't have power. Now it's getting some power. Come on, warm up. Oh yeah, this is way cheaper. Because normally you would need two ingots just to make one wire. There you go. Mineral grinder. This is essentially a pulverizer, so it's going to double the ores. And since I'm mining in the nether, we're getting tons of ores. We also need to get a better power source, and I'm not really sure what options are available. Thermoelectric. Oh, it needs steel. <laughs> well, if we get some coal coke, that's actually gonna happen. Then again, maybe not. You need lithium. Well, there's also a combustion generator. I have cleared up some space, and we do have our combustion chamber, which is great. No, not really. It's kind of garbage. Essentially, you can give it crude oil, you can give it kerosene, you can give it gasoline, or you can give it LPG or biodiesel and diesel from immersive engineering and pneumatic craft, but I think LPG is going to be the most efficient. I'm not really sure if we can get to LPG today or not, but we should be able to get some crude oil, which is going to be the least efficient. But they do really want us to work towards pneumatic craft, so let us do that. And in order to do that, the first thing that we're going to need is a tank. Not really, but we do need some oil, and hence I made a tank. Is it night time? Yeah, maybe we should take the bed. And yes, I do understand that as a quest reward, I did manage to get two waystones, but I'm waiting for the warp stone. I don't really know which quest gives me that, so until we get that, we're not going to use waystones. And yes, we're walking towards oil. 
You have a bucket mode, right? I don't know how to change the mode. We just take the oil. Is it V? No, it's fine. We're just looking for mechanism. Item mode switch. I don't know, zero? Yes, bucket mode. It's not going to be much. It's going to be 32 buckets. And that's it. The problem is that the coal generator is actually eating through the coal, so I don't think it's going to be a very sustainable resource. We can give it charcoal, but I have to automate it, and I'm really not in the mood. And besides, pneumatic craft seems to be more important. We just change it to normal mode, and one bucket of oil. Doesn't go in. Okay, you have to put it in manually. That's actually not that bad. It uses two milli buckets. I don't know which side gives you power, though. It's not this one. Oh, it's this side. Okay. Not the blue one. So just out of extreme curiosity, if we make a cable and then convert it into the insulated copper wire, can we somehow... Oh, yeah, we can use that. All I'm saying is that it's better to operate a few more machines at the same time. Is there also a furnace? Steel. <laughs> Why? Um, if you look at it, it's not that difficult to get steel today. It's just that there's going to be a lot of work involved and I'm not really sure if I should do that. Also, that's just one bucket of oil and it has been going on for a very long time. I like that. Also, is there a pipe that I can use? I can use a basic mechanical pipe, but I can't use a config... Oh, I can make a configurator. Uh-huh. So... I don't know. Yes, I'm still working for some redstone, but I just remembered as a quest reward, I did manage to get a liquid hopper. Yes, we got other stuff too. There's a motor. <laughs> I don't know what it does. But we should be able to put the hopper like so. And is the oil going in? Did we crash? Well, the oil went in. Okay. It's omnidirectional, so it doesn't really matter. This works. Also, I have been checking in the nether. No, I did not find any diamonds. But the way that you would be able to get diamonds is through a pressure chamber from pneumatic craft. I also did not find any dimensional shard, but we can craft this. This is called a coal chunk and... Well, it's pretty much very expensive. Wait a minute, you can make steel using a metallurgic infuser. And this is the metallurgic infuser. Can I hook it up to power? Actually, I can. So if the coal goes in and if I give you iron, that is enriched iron. And this should be steel dust. Interesting. Oh, you can't cook it. That is a problem. Hello! Gaze into my eyes. No. So we are in a creative world. This is not a copy of our world, but I was just checking. Can we find dimensional shards? Guess what the answer is? Now that you have guessed it, we should be able to plan ahead. Bye bye from the creative world. Yes, this is our own world. It's a bit difficult to find your own world when every single world is just called new world. Anyways, before we go to the nether and try to find some dimensional shards, I do have a bit of a news. We do have red wheat. And yes, that is redstone. Can we harvest it? Oh, we got two. Sometimes as a quest reward, we are going to get different types of seed enhancers. This one, for example, is going to upgrade the seed to 5x5x5 five by five by five, or just 5x5x5. Five five five. This one is also 5x5x5. Five five five. This one as well. This one as well. I remember I saw something which was way better. Well, I can't really find the quest, but if we mix and match this one with our red wheat, it's 5x5x5. Five five five. Let us try to mutate it into something better. Also, I just planted this and realized, does it have to be dark? No, you can see the particles. So I think we're good. While that stupid thing is growing, uh, let us get some food and go to the nether. Oh, I had a better one. 15, 15, 15. It's okay. We keep it. Also, before we go to the nether, I think we're going to have a waystone because we need to go to Y level 15. <laughs> I'm really lazy to get back up. We have the nether. Let's make a run for it. Oh, there was deep slate here. We also need fungus. We need five of them, I think. So we are at Y level 91 and now we have to dig down to Y level, I think, 15. I just realized I made a huge hole next to our portal, so if I fall, I'm gonna die. That's an accident waiting to happen. Also, you can't really dig more than five blocks without mining. Again, remember, we are poor. We need everything. Dimensional shard. Lovely. Remember, every piece is a diamond. Well, potentially a diamond. Uh, how much pressure do we need? Four bars. That's manageable. And yeah, since we are digging anyways, we will go down to Y level 15 later on. It's going to be useful for netherite. Yes, you would be able to get ancient debris from the piglins, but uh, we're going to mine here anyways in order to get resources. All I'm saying is that having a mining tunnel down here is not a very bad idea. Well, I found two next to each other. <laughs> and we already have two, so we would be able to make a netherite pick maybe today. Yeah, the recipe has not been changed. Oh, you can dabble it. Okay, we can have two tools. Also, I don't really mind. We can have our waypoint, I don't know, somewhere here. And we can teleport back home. Lovely. If our goal is to get into pneumatic craft, what we're going to need is a bit of explosions. So uh, let us get some gunpowder. 
We can buy it from the shop. And since we have already bought sand from the shop, we should be able to make some TNT. Hopefully. I don't really know where I put it, so we might have to buy more. But it's fine, these are easy things to get. We also need to have a ton of iron. Uh, that should be plenty, right? Basically, what we want to try and get is compressed iron. So, we flick the lever and run away. That is compressed iron. Yes. We lost so much. But we do get some as a quest reward. I'm guessing now we should be able to start making a pressure chamber. The small one. If I have not done any miscalculations, here's what's going to happen. We do have our pressure chamber valve. We do have the actual pressure chamber wall. We needed one set of pressure chamber interface. And that's it. Oh, and yeah, the glass. Don't you worry, I have just smelted some stone and I think we should be able to achieve that. We don't really need to, but I think it's going to look nicer. Just a bit. And it's super cheap. I'm not really amazing with pneumatic crafts, so we're going to hide it over here. Just in case of some explosions. Why... Did I... what? <laughs> we have to use wrenches, I guess. Anyways, we will have the valve on top, two pieces of glass so that we would be able to see what's going on, one interface like so, and one interface like so. Then I guess not like so. Yes, like that. Because this is going to be the output and this one is going to be the input. Lovely. It's functional. We are also going to need the most basic compressor. Uh, which one is available? Everything is so cheap. I was expecting things to be super expensive. Well, it is super expensive if you don't have cobblestone. We can make a furnace with blackstone, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's fine. I get some cobblestone. So here is an air compressor. We also need some coal. And how do we want to extract items? Uh, do we have this hopper from Pneumatic Craft? Yes, omnidirectional hopper. Such a difficult thing to place down. And now that I have placed it down, uh, I forgot something. We need to turn redstone controls on. We want to be able to control what items are going to stay in the pressure chamber and what items are we going to extract. So here is our compressor. You get some coal. We should be getting some pressure. Yes, 0.14 bars. Amazing. I think I found a bug. Each ancient debris gives you a netherite ingots. <laughs> okay. But I'm waiting for the pressure to build up. We have 2.77. And yes, there's one dimensional shard inside. I think around about 10 seconds we should get our first diamond. 3, 2... One, come on, give me the diamond. Yes, we can extract it. Yeah? Where's the diamond? Yes, <laughs> okay. It also disables the hopper, I kind of forgot. But we have it. <laughs> Let's make more. What if I drop all 18? It's not good to open and close the hatches. You will lose pressure. We just lost one bar. Let's also remove the coal, because we're not going to operate this for a while. Okay, we have 25 diamonds in our name, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with a pickaxe. And then obviously, we go with an enchantment table. I had no idea they're going to get that excited. So if I put you in, what will we get? Efficiency. <laughs> okay. If we want to get a level 30 enchant, we need a lot of bookshelves. The question is, do we craft it or do we go and steal it? I think we can craft it. We do have some straw in there. You know, we can convert it into canvas and then make books. I know this has nothing to do with the progression of the mod pack, but you should remember, better tools means higher efficiency. And you guys know me, I'm very efficient. <laughs> no. But fear not, after this we are going to have a bit more progression. Oh, there are bookshelves. Okay, we take those too. I am very efficient, it's just that I'm blind. But just by a bit. We do have 15 bookshelves, so it's not going to be symmetrical, I'm very sorry for that. And we were awarded for lapis, so what do we get? Unbreaking 3. That's not bad. What the heck is growth? So if I want to do another pick, growth. Fortune is nice. Since we do have the seeds for lapis, I'm going to try and get more lapis and then I'm going to try and enchant one more pick, see what we get. Basically what we want is fortune. Which one is lapis? You. Redstone grew! Yes! <laughs> Give me only one! Oh wait a minute. Yeah, if we do it like this, we're never ever going to get extra seeds, we have to do it in the dark. So lapis is going to be a jerk, you need to be waterlogged. Huh, what if I put double crop sticks? Will it stop the water? No? Okay, that was the wrong dirt. You can't have double crop sticks. That was rooted dirt. Yeah, like this one. Let's do that and see what happens. Well, we had a lapis seed, then I used our enhanced seed enhancer magic bob, and we have tons of lapis. So if I take the crop analyzer, yes, all of them are 15, 15, 15. I should have done that with redstone, but what can you do? However, I think lapis at this very moment is more important. That's actually a very stupid thing to say, I know. We have 34 levels, so we should be able to do decent enchantments. Let's see how it goes. 
Growth too. What the heck is growth? Grows nearby crops while held. Huh, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, we just got growth too. Uh, efficiency three. Fortune? Um, my goodness. It's fine. It is what it is. Thankfully, I found my anvil. We have efficiency three, unbreaking three. We can also enhance it with netherite. So there you go. A diamond sword is also not a very bad idea. And maybe we go with netherite. That would have been lovely. <laughs> Although the problem is that mobs don't really drop anything. So sharpness is more useful. The only thing that mobs are going to drop is bottles of enchanting. I think. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we go with looting. Why the hell not? Only looting. Pain of arthropods. <laughs> it's fine. I don't really care. So if I hold it in my hand and go to our crop area, is anything going to grow faster? Well, this is red wheat. If we harvest you, what's going to happen? Growth rate 32. If I don't hold it in my hand, no difference. It went up to 36. This part of it is a bit confusing for me, so uh, maybe we'll figure it out later on. I just came back to the nether so that we get a bit more experience and maybe we would be able to harvest those ancient debris. Because I don't really mind getting a netherite hammer. And just in case, can we have a bucket of lava? Yes. I hate gravel. Why is it everywhere? Another thing that I have noticed is that if you use a hammer, you're never ever going to get any experience. Which is weird. You see? Quartz was not dropping any experience. We got more dimensional shard. That is 36 more diamonds. I am back from the nether and yes, I broke my boots. But we did manage to get two more ancient debris and that gives us a total of eight netherite dust. We don't really need that much. I just want to have a hammer. You know, we could be gentlemen and change this to netherite scrap, but I'm a jerk. I'm just going to pretend that that button is not there. But there you go. Netherite hammer. There's not really much we want on this. Uh, can we have like unbreaking? Teleportation. <laughs> Applies teleportation ability to other tools than travel staff. There is a travel staff? Huh. <laughs> We're not being lucky with enchantments today. It's fine. However, before we wrap up today's episode, there are a few things that we can do. First off, in the electrodynamic theory, I noticed a quest. So if you make modular storage from RF tools, they're going to give you a tier 4 storage module. And that's cheap, and that's why I wanted some deep slate. So let us make a chisel. We shall chisel the deep slate into the cobbled version. You don't take durability damage. That is perfectly fine by me. I have a snow block. I don't know how. I was going to make a pure daisy for that. I'm not really sure if the storage thingy requires power or not, but uh, we're relatively wealthy. We can afford a few quality of life improvements. Anyways, here is our machine block. LVT air. Yay! Here is a stupid circuit. We also need to have a chest, which uh, I have made it, but it's in one of the barrels. And we're missing one redstone. <laughs> Did any of you grow? Of course you didn't. I wasn't here. Oh, we have nine in the backpack. That is fine by me. Modular storage. Do you need power? No. So if I put you over there, do I have storage then? Where do you go? Oh, lock the storage to access items. Yes, we have storage. And we can craft garbage. We will put the items that we should be able to use inside the storage, raw material inside the barrels. Also, I have not used this in a while. How do you work? Oh, oh, you did work. Yeah, inventory management is a problem. Every chest that I check, I find iron. Now that we have some storage, I was also thinking maybe we should get into a bit of botania because we need it. And yes, if you dig through your base, you will find a hole and a cave. Anyways, that's not very important. If you guys remember earlier in the episode, we got some of these. Yes. Mystical flower essence. What do we want to do with it? Very good question. We just need one petal. It can be any petal, right? Yes. Can I go with purple? Yep. I should have gone with white, right? It's fine. We can have a pure daisy. I think they will give white as a quest reward. They call Botania biotechnology. Oh, you need terawatt in order to unlock Botania. Didn't I get terawatt? Oh, I got the seed. Well, we have one of these improved seed enhancers. <laughs> Let's do that. I really want every single quest to count because rewards have been proven very useful. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, these crops from IC2 take ages to grow. I mean, blue wheat is 15 by 15 by 15. <laughs> it has like seven stages to grow and that stupid redstone is the worst. Anywho, that's not very important. The important thing is that we have our petal apothecary and we're going to use it. Now, there's my crafting table. Cool. So in this mod pack, if you want to craft seeds from mystical agriculture, you need to do it in a petal apothecary. Obviously, the nature seed is not really going to happen, but uh, we can have fire seeds, I think. Yeah, that is why I wanted that bucket of lava. Which <laughs> I have no idea where I put it. Ah, this is our fire agglomeratio. Weird name. 
and we do have a decent supply of seeds and we should have a decent supply of prosperity shards. And guess what? We also have a decent supply of inferium. We have more. Somewhere. So if I'm not wrong, prosperity seed goes in for inferium and the fire thingy. Yes. Now we need to drop a seed. Fire seeds. Basically what I want to do is to try and get some clay. This is also very cheap. We need fire and water. That's it. Then we will put it inside the garden cloches. So again, the seed for inferior essence, the water thingy, and one more seed. Also, now that we have everything on us, uh, can we make some inferior farmland? Yes. With the inferior farmland, we don't really have to grow crops over here. We can remove this place. But the thing is, I don't really want to go outside. So we're going to keep this place. Besides, we do have a waystone. We don't need to load the nether. At this very moment, we're not going to do amazing, but I have brought our coal generator, some wires, and, well, we're operating two garden cloches at garbage speed. You can't power both of them? Maybe it's warming up. Oh yeah, it was warming up. The question is, are you growing? I think I saw something change. Maybe it is growing. Yeah, it is. Our first essence. No? Yes. If I'm not wrong, that should be clay. Maybe the opposite? No. How do you make clay? Oh, it's dirt essence. <laughs> My bad. So what does fire give you? Sand. So please ignore the boo-boo. Here is my dirt seed. This does consume a fair bit of coal, but I'm guessing now that we have a netherite hammer, getting resources is going to be much easier. Would have been much easier if we got fortune, but uh, what can you do? But since we have apotheosis, there should be a tool thingy, no? Ah, yes. Tome of Miners. Oh, you need a blaze rod. Do I have to find the blaze? Oh, and by the way, our terawart seems to have grown. That should be a quest. You can eat this and it will remove radiation. And since we want the quest to count, uh, let's take our petal apothecary. Yep, that means I can even have a pure daisy. Yeah, but we are not going to use it today. We're going to dupe the petals. Just in case I'm going to need more pure daisies. Dirt essence is ready. That is lovely. And still I cannot make clay. Is it with water? It just did the same thing. Maybe it has to be done in a crafting table. Let us check. Okay, that was the problem. We have clay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.